everybody. Welcome to day two of our virtual STEM camp. I'm Leslie with the U.S. Marshals Museum and today we are going to be making ink. So in the 17, 1800s we didn't have our fancy ink pans that we have today and so people wrote with ink a lot of times that uh, they made themselves um, and we've all heard probably about writing with feather pens so we have a feather here today. Now here are our um, supplies you're going to need. Uh, something to make your ink in. I have some little plastic cups here that I'm using. Um, you're going to need some cheesecloth or other uh, material that you can um, squeeze your, your fruit through, so other thin material. Um, so this is cheesecloth. So I got, uh, it's very thin, um, got holes in it so it'll squeeze through really well. Um, your fruit, um, either blueberry, I have blueberries and cherries here. Uh, whatever dark the fruit, darker fruit that you have frozen is best uh, that's been thawed out, um, but fresh can also work. You'll need some vinegar and you'll need some salt and then um, paper and something to write with, whether that's a feather or maybe a, a stick with a pointed end, something along those lines to try out your ink with when we're done. So first thing you're going to do, you're going to take your cups with your cheesecloth and push, just put that down into your cups there. So we're going to uh, use that for our fruit. Um, next you're just going to take a couple of spoonfuls of your fruit. This isn't going to make a lot of ink, it's just going to make a little bit. So I'm going to take a couple, these are my blueberries right here. Take a couple of spoonfuls of blueberries there. Put those in and since I've got cherries here I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Put that in there. Uh, from that, you're going to take, this gets a little bit messy, so be prepared to get your hands a little dirty. Uh, you're going to gather up your material, your cloth, your cheesecloth, and you're just going to squeeze that out as much as you can. And while you can see, um, getting some juice coming out, we're going to squeeze as much of the juice out of those, of that fruit as we can. These are, again, these are my blueberries, so this is my blueberry juice. And it's going to get on your hands. It's going to get messy. So make sure you've got it okay for mom and dad to be doing this. So squeeze our fruit out. And then once you're done with that, you can just throw that cheesecloth with the fruit away. Let me go ahead here and get some of the cherries as well. Cherries are a little harder to get the juice out of. Um, if you're using cherries, you might also... Um, Squeeze what juice you can out, but then also, especially if you're using frozen cherries, they'll be and you've thawed them out, there'll be some juice in the bottom of your bowl as well. So you can use that. So I've got my fruit, my juices here. This is the base of my ink. Um, and next, just to help our ink bind a little better, um, about a teaspoon of vinegar to each or to your cup. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon to each. I give that a little stir on each one. Okay. And then we'll add just a little bit of salt. I've just got my salt shaker here. Just a tiny bit of salt. And again, give that a little stir. All right, so we have our, that is our ink. So we have our ink made. I've got blue and red. So next, we'll take our paper and our, um, I've got my feather here, whatever it is that you're using to write with, and we'll try it out. So you can dip your feather in your ink and just start writing. Uh, typically, when you do this, uh, you're gonna get about one good letter per dip, maybe two if you write small. And before you need to re-dip, There we go. So you can see there, I've written my name with ink. So if you've got your paper and your feather there, your writing utensil, then you can sit there and use your ink to uh, write whatever it is that you're wanting to write with. Maybe when school starts, you can use this to write your homework even one day or something and tell your teacher that you made your own ink to write, to do your homework with. 
There's our cherry ink as well. So we've got our blueberry and our cherry here. So uh, that is ink making. So go ahead and use the rest. Sit there and practice writing with your ink. You can use the rest of your ink. Um, and that's our but that's our activity for today. So hope you enjoyed that activity. I hope you'll join us again tomorrow for day three uh, with fingerprinting. So everybody have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.